Greetings to all. Welcome to the channel Simtech Zero Five. This is the third video of the mesh transition. In earlier two videos, I discussed on 2D mesh transition. That was the first video. In the second video, I talked about the 3D mesh transition with the triangular transition. Likewise, and there we learn lots of important concept. The similar concept I am going to apply here for the two-dimensional transition on the one face. See the geometry is the three dimensional geometry but the transition on the one surface along the x direction and along the y direction so this is the x direction this is y direction similarly at a time we have z direction transition also but here we have only one directional transition on the one surface on the, this surface i have x direction transition on this surface i have x direction transition so let's discuss i am going to hide the older component this mass going to rename this and going to delete the element say f2 delete element showing the geometry shaded mode okay as per my Previous two video explanation, you are very well aware that this is my particular fine element zone. Then I have to create the transition zone. So why I created those splits because those are the transition zone. Then I have to define the coarse massing. So go to the F12, select the surface, define element size. Okay, 0.5 is quite sufficient for me. Click on mass, and then click on done. Then I have to define the transition zone. Select the surface, not 0.5 but 2. See, by default, I have here four element and 20 element. That's why directly we will get the transition zone. But what happen in general? Say I define element size of 0.5. Click on mass. This type of massing you will get. Then I have to define here somewhat different element size or different number of element. So transition ratio and different transition type I already explained in my first video, but here I am using five rest to one transition ratio, quad transition ratio. So I am defining element four here. This type of massing you will get, but as I told you in the transition zone you have to define only one element. Likewise, similarly seven by seven ratio one, three ratio one, and other transition. You can achieve the default transition. I am accepting. Similarly, selecting other surface and massing, and yes, four element. Now click on done. Selecting surface and make sure you are going to define only one element on that. Likewise, okay. Now I have to drag these element along the depth. As I told you, always you have to perform operation on the transition element. So these are my transition element. I can drag those all element along the depth at a time. So you can go with drag options also, but I am using solid map element because only I have these element. I can select directly by window. But there is one problem. In the destination surface, I cannot select these all surfaces at a time. So it's mean we cannot define the general operation or this operation on the all element at a time. So I'm going to refresh element element by face, or you can deselect those, or I'm going to define element by geometry. This surface select. Destination surface. This is my destination surface. Element size 0.5, and now click on mesh. Yeah, of course, I need to define at least one surface. So these two surfaces I am defining as a reference. Click on mesh. So the solid map is created. Now again, I have to define elements by geometry. Then destination surface. Not by the surface along geometry, not the surface. Now node path because I have existing node path. 
I have to match this massing with respect to the this massing. Okay. Similarly, I have to perform operation here. Doing quickly. Go to the wireframe mode and now you can see up to this there is no issue. I need to drag this element also. So this one element only destination one. And now node path. Precisely select the node path from this node to okay. Somewhat different things are selected. Refresh. Refresh and then zoom in and select precisely. Click on mesh. Okay, the work is done. Now the important task. I have to define the transition along this direction also. Go to the F12, select the surface. Again the same pattern. I am going to utilize defining here element sizes 5. Sorry, element sizes 2. And one one element here also. Five element I don't want. I want exactly four elements. So my transition ratio will be maintained. And now dragging this element along the direction. Okay. I also want to drag these element up to this particular point. So let me drag. How I can drag? I cannot drag 3D element directly. I have to define the faces as I mentioned in my previous video. Select the element. So, element, one element I am selecting, then element by faces, and then destination one. Uh, this is not my destination, but first I have to define here element actually. So, this may be problematic to select this surface. What I can do? I can go with the mask and hide those solids. Now, this destination I can select properly. There is no node path. I can select one reference surface and element size as 2. Now, click on mesh. So, one element will be created. Again, element by face. Make sure only these elements are selected. See, you can see this this white selection. Okay, these elements are selected. Just go with surface, shaded mode, select the destination surface, node path. You have node path, or you can select the reference surface with the element size of 2. Okay. Then I am going to unhide these others and creating one face here. Go for face. Element by face destination surface node path I don't have node path I have actually reference surfaces that is my reference surface and I don't want element size 2 as I define the transition I am going to increase the element size maybe 2 from 0.5 to 2 or maybe something else let us see 2 is sufficient or not. Okay, 2 is sufficient. So, this zone is matched. Now, I have to match the these surfaces. Element by face. Again, you have to make sure only these elements are selected. Go to the destination one.
then go to the node path now node path not the surface reference surface because we have node path here click on mesh that's good now as i told you always we have to drag the transition element that's why i not created any element i have to drag this element throughout so go to the mask solid this may be little bit lengthy initially but once you are habitual to it you can create very easily i want to mask this thing also okay select the element element may be by face because only this element i have destination one this is my destination and node path okay reference is node path so this is my node path and click on mesh similarly i don't have any 2d element here so i can go to create the element faces by using those elements yeah i want to drag this element element then element by face then destination surface then along element sorry along node this two node i have if i hide my geometry see how beautifully the same thing will be extracted okay i cannot extrude these element directly from this end to this end okay because here may be the different element size we have in this case the same element size i have but it may possible different element size we have so we have to go with the individual individual extraction or extrude mesh extrude or drag mesh so again faces because in this way the chances of error are reduced find faces of course what you can do you can select the element by face by face destination one and i can select this surface as my destination surface okay ideally i have to select this surface as destination one but to just show you i am defining this as a destination one and node path say this this and up to this point now click on mesh so this also you can do but you have to do it very precisely there are high chances of error and now i am going to extract surfaces again same way i'm selecting this element extracting general options element by face okay and then dragging this element i'm not going to define any destination click on none so along the surfaces so these are my surfaces and the element size is not 2 but defining 4 click on mesh larger element size i defined now i'm deleting the faces that i created earlier i'm also deleting the 2d elements press f2 button element by configuration try 3 select and then because i don't have any try element actually so all elements are quad 4 see quad 4 and delete let's see the equivalence preview equivalence okay when i go for wireframe mode these element let me hide the geometry these element going to be equivalent or connect so preview equivalence equivalence then click on find edges and change the color so software very precisely match the component and here we have a very tense element as you can see 
lots of integration point you can see here in this zone here little bit lesser and here very coarse element density or very less integration point we have so in this way we can define such meshing in which we have two directional mesh transition on the one surface and along depth also we have mesh transition so this is the third video of mesh transition in fourth video i will discuss on one little complex component and there the methodology of dragging the element will be changed okay so thank you for listening if you have any query or question you can ask in the comment section or you can message me my contact details are available in the video description i also created one facebook and whatsapp group if you wanted to join you are most welcome thank you again